Hello and welcome to Louisa TV. I'm sorry I haven't been on for a while. I'm in the French countryside, staying in a moulin or a watermill on a little island right next to the river. And it's cute and charming, but it has no internet. <laughs> but aside from that, what I would like to share with you today is the process of following your heart. And this is what I have done again and again through this journey and change of life. Perhaps it has always happened and perhaps it all has already occurred. But when you start to tap into your intuition, tap into the core and root of you, tap into the heart and listen to its messages, it's then that you get to do the fun stuff like following your purpose, living your passion, creating abundance, creating the life that you desire for yourself. Since I've been here in these, la these last few months in France, so much has happened. I've been communicating by the river with a water dragon. I've been attacked by energies and cleared them. And more recently, I have come to know a collection of divine loving beings that come to me when I call them or request to have their presence around me. And I call them Zaya. And they have helped me tap into my heart even more through a sensory, energetic feeling experience. Having said that as well, it's incredible when you follow your heart, you don't always know when you'll, where you'll end up, what you'll be doing. Often the people that live the most rewarding, passionate lives can only see up ahead but they trust, they don't know what's around the corner, but they trust in themselves and they trust in their guidance and they trust in their heart. So I have found a home and I move in in a month. I am so excited. It is my dream home. It's perfect. It's everything I've ever wanted. And I can't believe how lucky I am. I am so very grateful, but I also know that there's no way I could have found this or created this life by myself. It's immaculate and certainly without the divine angels and my guides, I wouldn't have been able to do it alone. So I have found my home. And I've bought a puppy, a black Labrador. I pick her up in two weeks. I am so excited. She'll be a beautiful addition to the Passion Harvest family. I haven't thought of a name yet, but if you have any suggestions, please <laughs> let me know. So when you listen to your heart, you are in the domains, the dimensions of the non-linear, and you're not bound by time and space. Your heart, your intuition knows the most likely probabilities and possibilities and is always, always guiding you on the right track, I guess I would say. Start by asking yourself the very big question, am I happy? You see, when we're living a happy life, life is not always perfect, but when we're following our heart and living our passions, we are happy in essence. We are filled with joy and gratitude and love. And there's a deep seat of knowing at the core of us, and this could be called the heart. I don't necessarily mean the physical heart. I mean the energetic heart, our navigation, our compass that knows us better than anyone ever has through this life and all our other lives and is always working with our spirit teams, guides and angels for our best and highest good. So listening to your heart is done through energy, through frequency. You can't necessarily audibly hear the words of your heart, but it is an energetic feeling transmission. And the more you get quiet and connect with yourself, your inner being, the more you'll feel the, the subtle messages that your heart is offering you. The more you listen to your heart, the more you can push aside societal pressures, what other people expect of you. 
family, work, and really listen to what it is that you want. What is your path? What is your purpose? Sometimes we always ask questions, but we don't get quiet and listen for the answers. And when I say listen, I mean feel. It is an energetic transmission. Our heart center is connected with our soul, our higher self and the non-physical realm. And they frequency, they transmission this through the frequency, the vibration of the heart. So here are three simple steps to get in touch with your heart and a very simple yes or no. Get quiet and take a few deep breaths. Be still. Put your hand on your heart and really feel its beating. Connect with the energy. Connect with yourself. Take a little bit of time out from the crazy world that we can often live in that keeps us so busy and distracted from the self. And then think about something that you know is absolutely right or something that you love, a family member, a pet, an experience. And feel how your heart beats. Feel your heart, your essence, your field expanding with this knowing of it's right and it feels good and it's true. This is how you come to know the subtle, delicate intricacies of your heart communication. Then think about an experience, a person, an event that you know in your heart isn't right, something that wasn't pleasant or something that doesn't feel good. Even as I say these words, feel your heart contract. Feel your heart beat in a different manner. Feel your heart get smaller. This is not following your heart. So when you have questions for yourself, questions for your life purpose, your path, your greatest delight, the way to move forward, the simple steps to take on the next pieces of your life story. Put your hand on your heart and see how it feels. This is going to be an energetic transmission. And it's a, a daily practice, a new way of communication, a new relationship that has always been within you. This wealth of information is always, always found within you. These are some of the elements I work with in my passion mastery, one-on-one -on -one private coaching with me. We explore so many things in the non-physical realms and how to live your most aligned, truest path, the path of greatest potential. And I have a few spaces opening up at the end of June. If you're interested in that, I will leave a link below in the show notes or head on over to the Passion Harvest website shop page for more details. Trust, belief and faith are powerful forces to overcome any obstacles. Having said that, the path of following your heart is not always easy, but it will enrich your life. It will allow you to grow spiritually, exponentially. It will allow you to express your soul themes and your soul lessons you have come here to explore. And as you have a deeper connection with your heart and intuition, you begin to live a life in more flow, a more full lived life, a life without regrets. A life and fear dissolves because you have trust in your heart, in the very core of your being, the center of your being. This is where you will find all the answers. And you no longer begin to look outside to people or places or events to complete you because the ultimate completion can be found within your heart. So I encourage you today to take a little bit of time out, 
to connect with your heart, your essence, your being, your soul, and you have all the answers. And the greatest words I could say to you are trust you, trust in yourself, trust in your divinity, trust in your love, and trust in the higher guidance that is always wishing to assist us on this immaculate, incredible journey of life. I send you so much love and um, I can't wait to see you soon. Lots of love. Bye for now.